This is the second part of the 14500 thrower series. I talk about this main curve in the first part. Check it out if you haven't done so. In this video, I'm going to go over this uh, TS12 by Workhouse and sort of compare it with the older, older brother. Hey, welcome back to UDC channel. This is Jay. He has MSRP uh, at 32 bucks and currently discounted 25% off at uh, 24 bucks which is an amazing value especially when compared to the other two A6 with uh, MSRP at 47 and uh, aluminium version of this tracker mini at uh, 50 bucks even the non-discounted price is already cheaper let me first show you the box quickly The same uh, magnetic box with user guide, USB Type C, lanyard, and spare O rings. Now, let's take a closer look at the light itself. This really looks like the Mini TS11 with the FC13 long tube let's compare the sizes now when compared to the TS10 in the, its original um, 18350 short tube it's about the same height I saw some people, including myself, were questioning why um, get the TS12 when there's already a TS11. But the slim body really makes a difference. One that you can really uh, notice and feel. There are quite uh, many other differences to be considered. Maximum output and throw. 1000 uh, lumens versus 2000 lumens. 432 meters versus 660 meters. We'll see and compare them later in the other beam shot. And then it's using Enduro versus a simple UI, although they have option for ramping. And the TS10 also comes with a newer version, the TS10S, which also comes with a simple UI. Reflector versus TIR lens. I do wish it also has aux like the like this one. I love the dark um, granulated stainless steel bezel. It will be nice if we could sell a uh, different bezel options as um, accessories. As a magnetic tail. Unfortunately, it can't take um, double A batteries. Uh, I made a mistake on my um, comparison videos. I thought all of these three um, can take triple A's but only these two um, do, not this one, which is a pity. But even though it's small, it still maintains the built-in Type-C charging, which the other two don't have. I think I will cut this flip flap off though. Okay, for the step UI, it's a low, medium, I with memory interesting that there's a shortcut to moonlight by long pressing but the moonlight is not memorized there's also a shortcut to turbo by double clicking and stroke by triple clicking stroke warning and then there's also SOS and beacon so even though it's simple UI, it's quite complete. Unfortunately, um, the LED is kind of greenish. I don't know if you can see it. At least on this first batch. And there's a software lockout by uh, quad clicking it, but it blinks quite brightly as a lockout indicator. 
plus it blinks again as a lock indicator which is a big no for me so I just use the hardware lockout by twisting the tail slightly this should have used the battery or charging indicator instead like the like the A6 still not a deal breaker okay let's just see it outside okay let's see this TS12 low medium and the spill high let's go turbo now let's compare with the TS11 both turbo TS11 I mean TS12 TS11 TS12 S11 S12 Okay There are a few cons but it's a really a good value an affordable a fun mini thrower Okay let's continue to uh, part 3 Thank you for watching see you in the next one bye now